I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you were any kind of a detective, you wouldn't be trying to blame all this on Miss Julia. Would she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. So she wasn't mad at anyone in particular? No, men were usually besotted with Miss Julia, not the other way around. I don't think Miss Julia was ever in love with anyone. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. That's a terrible insult to Miss Julia's honor and her memory. She's not even in the ground yet. You should be ashamed. Men friends, Mrs. Reynoldson, spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. She was very nice to me. I don't care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. You're disgusting. If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. But you cleaned up after parties. Yes, I did. Sometimes beforehand. She was always so glamorous. She had the most beautiful clothes and jewelry. She could be hard, Miss Julie. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. You're hiding something, Mrs. Reynoldson. There's something about Julia's past that you don't want to tell me. And how do you come to that conclusion, young man? What makes you think I know anything about her past? You are being very crass, young man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you do the housekeeping on a regular basis? Twice a week since Miss Julie moved here from New York. I know you're trying to protect Julia, Mrs. Reynoldson, but it won't help us solve the case. Julia can't be hurt anymore. I was going to scrub the bathroom. And there, there she, floating. I really can't talk about this anymore. Yes, I... Miss Julie w was... Pretty girl like that? Maybe she was having trouble with some boys, huh? Maybe she got her heart broken. She couldn't take it anymore. So she ran herself a bath and down some pills, and then she just drifted off. I don't know. Miss Julie, she always had so much fire. So much drive. I'm sorry. I, I'm not being very clear. They're there. It's okay. She was so beautiful and so young. Can you leave me alone now?
are you going? I'm trying, officer. Please come back. I can't stand around here all day waiting for you. Her face beneath the water. I, I need to do something. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pillbox, the things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always new clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star, a princess. Does modeling really pay that well? Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? I'm sorry, I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. I was going to scrub the bathroom. And there, there she, floating. I really can't talk about this anymore. Help me out. You want to go digging around in drains trying to support Mal's theory? You go ahead. I'm not getting my hands dirty. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. I haven't got time to jaw, Cole. The captain wants me to make this case. I'll say hello to the skipper for you. For now, follow up on the narco angle. Can you get lost and let me work? This broad was built to be photographed, even if she is dead. Whew. She was so beautiful and so young. Can you leave me alone now? I haven't got time to jaw, Cole. The captain wants me to make this case. Come on, Phelps. Even Roy looks like he's working. Get on with it. 